Hello and welcome to Dot Decimal. My name is Henry Stanley. The purpose of this short presentation is to demonstrate the benefits of delivering IMRT using compensators in combination with Siemens MLCs. For certain tumors, specifically large or highly modulated fields like head and neck or whole pelvis, many Siemens users have greatly improved their treatment efficiency and patient outcomes by employing the use of solid compensators for their beam modulation. The advantages of static broad beam modulation versus segmented delivery can be significant, especially with one CM MLC leaves. Utilizing compensators, our Siemens customers have cut treatment times by more than 50%. That's huge. Their patients tolerate the course of treatment better, skin reactions and other side effects have been significantly reduced, and their patients go home with a much better experience. Shorter planning time, more conformal plans, and better QA. All these add up to better clinic efficiency and patient outcomes. But I want you to just take my word for it. Let's hear it from some of those on the front line. It's just the fact that this has an effective pixel, not dose pixel, if you will, of about four millimeters based on the diameter of your drilling bit. Um, and that just makes the doses more conformal. You can just wrap better. The lower doses are lower, and the, high, the doses that you want higher are higher. Um, our original treatment times were on the order of 30 to 40 minutes for head and necks. Especially with the head and neck patients, we've got um, the patients with the trachs. Mm -hmm. what, what we found before with the really long treatment times, because we do have the Siemens, we were running into 25 to 35 minute beam, just beam times. So we had patients early on that they were having to sit up in the middle of their treatment just to clear their trach because they would feel like they're strangling. Which in, in turn creates more uh, opportunity for error in terms of resetting up the patient making sure that everything's good. It makes it worth it to, to go in and out of the room but to shorten your overall time. Mm -hmm. That way you can get to the next patient and make sure that, spend that extra time making sure that it's a quality treatment versus just getting through the treatment. More testimonials can be found on our website. Now in case you're unfamiliar with how compensators modulate a photon beam, the good news is it's not that complicated. The beam passes through brass that has been milled to varying thickness. Where the brass is thick, more of the beam is blocked. Where it is thinner, more gets through. All the benefits and advantage of compensators that you've heard about so far are due to one key attribute and that is they modulate the fluence for a given field with a single static broad beam. In MLC lingo, think of it as treating the entire field with one single segment. This video illustrates the difference between the segmented delivery of MLCs on the left and the static delivery of compensators on the right. The difference in the time it takes to treat the field is apparent. Now multiply that difference by 7, 10, or 12 fields and you can understand how treatment times can be greatly reduced using compensators. This graph is a study that was conducted at the University of North Carolina. A comparison was done on 150 patients comparing MLC and compensator delivery times. Red bars indicate compensators, blue bars indicate MLCs. Compensators were twice as fast and their time included going in and out of the vault to change out the compensators between fields. This chart is a comparison for QA time on various disease sites. The data was compiled and provided by one of our users in Indiana. As you can see, the time saved using compensators range from 68 to 75 percent. That's a lot of time, especially over 35 or 40 fractions. Here's another comparison of delivery time provided by one of our users. As you can see, the field is over 36 centimeters in length. The LINAC in this particular case was a 120 leaf. Most of the fields had to split, resulting in 47 minutes of treatment time. Compensators took 11 minutes. That's a 36 minute reduction over the MLCs. One of the advantages of compensators is their ability to treat up to a 40 by 40 field with a single broad beam. Because compensators can handle these larger fields in one shot, the treatment time is about the same as it is for a much smaller field. Another advantage of compensators is their superior resolution. Compensators are not limited to the finite width of an MLC leaf. As a result, even with complicated head and necks, QA for comps is typically in the high 90s points passing at 3% 3 millimeter. The final comparison I want to show is one of the reports we provide as part of our implementation process. When commissioning a clinic for compensators, a seven-field validation plan is done on a CIRS head and neck phantom. In addition to the compensators, we also treat the phantom with the MLCs for comparison. Note the averages and treatment statistics. Sometimes the improvements with comps can be considerable as they were in this case. Tumor motion is another area that compensators are of value. 
Because the entire tumor is receiving dose all the time, you eliminate the possibility that part of the tumor could be behind an MLC leaf due to motion. A recent study indicated that tumor motion may have more of an impact than we realize. The conclusion of the study was that solid modulation with compensators is clearly superior on tumors that move one centimeter or more. This study, as well as others on tumor motion, can be found on our website. To summarize, the use of compensators result in less bemoan time, fewer monitor units are required, reduced treatment times, reduced planning time, better resolution equating to better QA, better for large fields, better for tumor motion, less wear and tear on your LINAC, and better outcomes for a better patient experience. Do any of the challenges we have looked at today show up in your clinic from time to time? If so, wouldn't it be nice to have the right tool for the job? Here's just how easy it is to get started with Dot Decimal. We do a full turnkey on-site implementation, train the staff, everything, with no upfront cost, and the software is free. That's how confident we are that once you see the comparison, you will use compensators. No minimums, no annual contracts. You only pay for the compensators when you order them. Implementation takes six to eight hours over three days, and the work is planned around your clinic's activities and schedule. No additional equipment is required to implement a compensator program. Decimal provides everything you need. QA is performed just like MLC QA, so whatever you use now, map check or film, is what you will use for compensators. The nice thing about compensators is you can know what kind of difference they will make before you order them by simply doing a comparison plan. Only use them when they make a difference. The delivery reimbursement rate is exactly the same as MLC delivery code 77418. Time is money, and using compensators can save a lot of time. We have a performer that can show the time savings based on your clinic's unique situation and quantify what those savings are in dollars and cents. It is a handy tool for the financial justification of using compensators in your clinic. Well, that concludes the presentation. Thank you very much for your time. I hope we have been able to demonstrate that having decimal compensators as an option can enhance your ability to offer the best customized care for your patients. There's a lot more information on the website. Please feel free to investigate further or call us at 1-800-255-1613. We'll be happy to answer any questions, provide references, or schedule your implementation. Compensators are a great tool and could be in your toolbox in a matter of days. Thanks again and have a great day.